and welcome to this virtual showcase from Microsoft. Today, we'll be exploring how we can modernize business applications and rethink the customer experience. We'll be giving you lots of opportunities to share your thoughts. You'll be interacting with polls. This event is about you. So I'm really pleased to introduce our first thought leader on this, Matt Renner, president of US Enterprise Commercial at Microsoft. I've been asked to say a few words on kind of topics, trends, and challenges uh, that we're seeing in high tech today. The first is adjusting to remote hybrid work and, and that whole new normal that we're, we're all trying to get our arms around as we go forward. The second is talent acquisition and retention. This has everything to do with not only acquiring talent, obviously in a very difficult labor market, but also holding on to it, which is equally as difficult in these tough times. The third is the rise of industry cloud solutions. Is it here to stay? What are, what are the thoughts behind that concept? What about these products? The quick answer is yes. The next one is the necessity for security. And, and again, this is a combination of the complex solutions that continue to, to be required to, to be successful today, but also the rise of the number of malcontents and folks that are out there that are just trying to do harm. So obviously security is top of mind. The last piece I wanted to mention was the increasing customer expectations. And this has everything to do with the, the reality that customers want to work with companies that have a mind towards social responsibility. So I would say buckle up, get ready for an absolute thrill ride of, of an event. I'm super excited to tune in myself. And Julie, I'm going to send it back to you. Let's open our first poll. And the question is, what are the issues that matter most to your customers? OK, quite a widespread, but the biggest chunk went for delivering a personalized experience. Now, I'm really pleased to introduce Ray Wang to the stage. Inside this metaverse economy that we're building, we are setting the underpinnings of where that future is going to be. And when I mean that future, right, that is that move from Web 2.0 to 3.0. That's a move from 2D to 3D experiences. That's our ability to go from centralized to decentralized capabilities. It is the heart of the ambient experience. It's the heart of where the internet is heading next. And that's what makes this metaverse economy super exciting. In just a moment, we'll be getting stuck into that panel discussion segment. But before we do that, let's get to another audience poll. This time, we'd like to know very simply, what's your number one priority right now? The biggest chunk of you said increasing market share growth with new offerings and partner enablement. Interesting. And with that, I will welcome our panel, Sean, Casey and Gemma to the stage. Welcome to you all. So through all the, the work that we're doing, whether it's, uh, you know, you're working in HR or, or finance or sales development, whatever you're working with, you still need to log into your laptop connect to the technology that you've got, whether it be at home or whether it's in the office or on the road or on your mobile device. So it just has to be seamless the entire time. Yeah. One of the things we've seen and we've designed around is the ability for the human experts to train the machines what they know so that the machines can do things that they can't. And so I think there's some fascinating kind of um, you know, pieces of the puzzle as humans and machines start working together and leveraging the best intelligence of both. I love being around young people like that. You think about Gen Z and Alpha, where they've already, it's very native to them, the whole notion of the concept of the metaverse is they've already been, you know, playing Roblox and they're, you know, within these games and the gaming universe here for a number of years. So you can easily see how that's going to be transferable for the millennials and old folks like me in the gen, you know, the Gen X worlds. The QSRs and some of the other consumer brands are already utilizing the metaverse. Uh, make no mistake, we will be there, and I'm excited to help lead the way. So wonderful to capture such important learnings from Sean, Casey, and Gemma there. And that brings us to our closing address, Matt Hughes, US high tech industry leader at Microsoft. The focus is really around B2B, B2C, and the startup community. And that is really where we're going to position Microsoft for the future around high tech, along with our partners. And new technologies always enter into the hype cycle. And I think it's the collective responsibility for Microsoft, but also with our partners and customers to figure out what is mission critical, as Sean calls it, generative use cases that truly solve customer business outcomes and others that <clears throat> maybe you know are science experiments but really don't have an addressable outcome. With all that said, I want to thank you all for your time today. I look forward to connecting with you, LinkedIn, online, whatever. But Julie, I'm going to hand it back to you. And that brings us to the end of today's showcase. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Best of luck with your business endeavors over the rest of 2022. And we hope to see you back here at the next virtual showcase very soon. Goodbye.